Healthcare is, a, is right now in a, in a period of, of rapid change. Uh, and without you know, pushing the envelope of, uh, of, of the new, um, we will probably not survive. Um, healthcare in transitioning from uh, one completely different business model of, of paying per procedure or for volume, uh, shifting to uh, uh, the new world of paying for value, uh, being able to demonstrate that value and, and, and actually uh, uh, do that in, in new business models, new clinical models, uh, it really requires a completely different set of thinking. Uh, it's something that we're, we're uh, really investing heavily in, um, as we see it as, as very important to the future for, for the patients that we're privileged to take care of. Every health system should be looking to artificial intelligence to analyze their, their large, complex data sets. Our traditional process that we, we kind of considered in the past that, that worked well for us to, to use data to make decisions um, they, they just don't work well at that scale. So this is where the machines sort of come in to help the humans. So uh, um, obviously human thinking is, is unique and, and I don't see it in my lifetime despite what some people think that uh, artificial intelligence or machine intelligence is going to replace humans, uh, perhaps in my lifetime, but probably not anywhere in the near term. But there's certainly things that the machines can do far, far better than the humans. Uh, analyzing trends, finding new trends, um, using innovative ways uh, for, for, for thinking about uh, uh, how the machines address data. Um, that's really our focus right now is using those tools to, to look at these very complex, very large data sets to, to try to find value in them. I sort of think about artificial intelligence in two ways. Uh, um, one is what, what's called uh, supervised uh, uh, machine intelligence or artificial intelligence and the other is, uh, is unsupervised. So, We've actually worked in, in, in both, uh, both arenas, uh, but, but one example in the unsupervised, um, we had a fairly uh, um, uh, mature work effort going to optimizing our, our care of, uh, of surgical patients. Uh, a lot of effort through traditional sort of evidence-based medicine and best practices uh, to try to integrate those within our workflows and, and try to get our clinicians and our surgeons to, to follow those best practices. And we certainly derived significant value out of that. We uh, had a partnership uh, uh, in, in an unsupervised machine learning, uh, machine intelligence uh, strategy that enabled us to use the, the, the same um, uh, data, the same information that we had from our traditional processes uh, to find uh, new relationships, uh, new ways of, of, of doing the surgical procedures, um, unique combinations of, uh, of say, uh, supplies or uh, a certain, say, prosthesis for a, a knee replacement versus a different prosthesis for a knee replacement, both clinically acceptable, but one may have a very different uh, uh, cost than the other, uh, and, and then finding out that uh, um, the, the less expensive uh, um, a prosthesis may either perform exactly at the same uh, standard level from a clinical outcome standpoint or even superior to the one that's more expensive. Um, finding those, uh, those relationships sometimes in these data sets is, is just tremendously difficult if we do the manual process. So that's one area that we've been able to, to utilize uh, the, the unsupervised machine intelligence uh, in, in finding those patterns that, uh, that have great value. We were fortunate uh, approximately three years ago to uh, um, cross paths with, uh, with AOSD uh, in their young, young days, uh, just, just post startup, uh, um, unique strategy in terms of, uh, of addressing um, uh, the, the ability to consume and consider very large, very complex data sets. Certainly we had that, uh, that problem and we did realize we had that problem. So, um, the advantage to, to a Yazdi has been, uh, honestly, their flexibility. Uh, this is a, uh, a, honestly a field that is new and it's, and it's poorly defined, certainly in healthcare. Um, and so having a, a, a company or, or partner uh, that has been very patient with us as we learn, uh, you know, what, honestly, what is unsupervised uh, machine learning and, and, and wh where is it used best. Uh, and, and, then incorporating that into our existing work and, and honestly helping to plan some of our future work, um, it's really been invaluable, so, so the flexibility. The other I would say is, is uh, honestly the cl clear, deep expertise in this field. Um, it's, uh, it's one thing as, uh, as a lot of these words almost become buzzwords, uh, 
artificial intelligence, machine intelligence, and, and you know, we could go and uh, put a product up in a poster and just slap those words on there and look great. Um, that's relatively easy. What is underneath that, though, do you truly have expert understanding of the field? Are you truly leading uh, in terms of the thought in the field? Um, that's a distinct difference, uh, and that has been uh, very refreshing in working with AOSD, certainly thought leaders.